The question of how to define membership of the armed forces of a non-state party to a conflict is contentious. Let's analyze two main views expressed on this issue. The first approach may be termed the organic membership approach. According to this approach, any person is a member of a non-state armed forces when that person is integrated into those forces, regardless of whether he assumes any combat function therein. Some argue that membership may be easily identified on this basis, especially when the members wear a fixed distinctive sign or uniform, or when they have an identification card. This position actually mirrors the notion of membership to state regular armed forces, since members of these forces are those formally integrated therein. Advocates of the organic membership approach aim at providing equal treatment between state and non-state armed forces. Any member of both armed forces could be targeted at all time, as long as he is a member of those forces, and even if does not have any combat function, such as a cook. Such equal treatment is actually dictated by the need to take into account military realities. Unsurprisingly, this organic membership approach has its critiques. The RCRC has proposed another approach. In order to be in line with the terminology used under Article 1 of Additional Protocol 2, it first makes a distinction between the armed forces of a dissident non-state party, qualified as dissident armed forces, and the armed forces of other non-state parties, qualified as organized armed groups. The dissident armed forces refer to part of state armed forces that have turned against the government, while the organized armed groups are initially constituted of the civilian population. According to the RCRC, membership to the dissident armed forces is the same as the membership of the forces of the state against which they have turned, as long as they adopt the structure of that state. However, as far as organized armed groups are concerned, which are actually the armed forces of most of non-state party to a non-international armed conflict, the RCRC starts from the fact that formal membership to such a forces is generally not straightforward. According to the RCRC, in view of the wide variety of cultural, political and military context in which organized armed groups operate, there may be various degrees of affiliations with such groups. In one case, affiliation may turn on individual choice, in another on involuntary recruitment, and yet another on more traditional notions of clan or family. The RCRC therefore concludes that, in practice, the informal and clandestine structures of most of organized armed groups and the elastic nature of membership render it particularly difficult to distinguish between a non-state party to the conflict and its armed forces. Given the difficulty of distinguishing individuals who are members of an organized armed group from the civilian population, and the resulting risk for that population, the RCRC has proposed a functional membership approach. According to this view, members of an organized armed group include any person who assumes a continuous function for the group involving his or her direct participation in hostilities. Membership is drawn from the combat function assumed by the person. 